Greetings! This is Sarah Canary, a technical writer in the documentation team at cPanel, the hosting platform of choice. Today, I'm going to show you how to configure some of WHM's settings in the basic Web Host Manager setup interface. You probably want to go here right away after you install cPanel and WHM, since the interface includes many important settings for your server, including your contact addresses. Let's go ahead and log in to WHM. And here we are in the WHM interface. I'm going to locate the section in the left side menu and then click Basic Web Host Manager Setup. A new interface will appear. We've got this interface divided up into three tabs. The All tab, which is where you land when you open the interface, shows you all of the settings at once. Click Contact Information if you only want to see contact-related settings, or click Basic Config for some basic server settings. You can also use the Find box over here on the right to search for a specific setting if you know the name. First, let's check out the contact information settings. Here, you can set the email address that should get notifications if there are problems with the server. You can also set up addresses to receive notifications through a cell phone or pager, push bullet, ICQ, or HipChat. This interface doesn't contain all of our contact and notification settings, though. Check out the Contact Manager interface to configure more about notifications and when you receive them. Over here, the Basic Config section has some important server settings. Use these to configure your IP addresses and Ethernet devices. You can also set the location for users' home directories, default cPanel and webmail themes, script aliases, hostname lookup caching, and Apache logs. There are interfaces that will let you go deeper on configuring most of these items, so check out our other WHM tutorial videos or search in our documentation for more about these. To update any of the contact information or basic config settings, just make the change that you want and then click Save Changes down here at the bottom of the interface. You'll see a confirmation message to let you know everything's good to go. If you want to go back to the interface, use your browser's back button or find the interface again in the left side menu. Just above that Save Changes button, you can configure your name servers in the Name Servers section. You're required to have one, but you can enter up to four. Just enter the name servers that you want in the text boxes and hit Save Changes. A entries let your name server resolve to an IPv4 address, and Quad A entries let this happen over IPv6 addresses, so you need to make sure to add these. To do this, click Configure Address Records for the name server. A new window will appear. Enter the IP address that you want to use, and then click Configure Address Records. The system will apply your changes and you'll see a confirmation message. Then, click Close to go back to the main interface. You'll need to create A or Quad A records for each of your name servers. You can see more about your name servers and their records in the Name Server Record Report interface. For more information about cPanel, visit cPanel.com or follow at cPanel on Twitter. Thanks for watching and happy automating!